High school bully delivered pizza to my house. So first off I'd like to say all jobs are valid and necessary to a society, and I don't think I'm even slightly better than anyone else based on job. However, today my girlfriend since high school and I were finishing moving into our newly purchased home which is not to brag rather large and we were exhausted, so ordered pizza. I was lying on the couch in the living room with my GF when the delivery guy arrived. She went out to grab it. Very shortly after she calls me out. Curious and confused about what the problem could be I go out to the front door. There in his pizza place uniform is my high school bully. This POS made four years hell for me and here he was in a ratty uniform with a ratty car delivering a pizza to my house. We chatted for a minute or two and he wouldn't really meet my gaze and kind of mumbled. When he went to go leave I took a hundred bucks out of my wallet and said here you go man I hope things turn around for you. It was the pettiest flex I could have done as I'm not really that successful but the look on his face was just. Edit I appreciate the awards but can y'all donate that money to like any charity except Reddit or my charity as please. This is exactly what I used to rehearse in my head when I was getting bullied. It was the fuel to my success. Thank you for letting me accomplish my mission through you. My childhood bully got killed crossing the road on a bicycle in high school. Sad but never felt more relieved. Never looked over my shoulder again. I'd never order from that same pizza place as long your bully is still working there. Visions of spit in future pizzas are in my head. Lots of readers will wish that they had the same opportunity as you had. Him cash and then the I hope things turn around for you was brutal, but the asshole probably deserved it. The best revenge is success. Nice dig. I know that got under his skin and burned. He will not forget this one. This is a pettiness I can get behind. You were not rude, but instead showed that you're in a good place in life, despite the hell that he put you through. You did better than I probably would have, as I probably wouldn't have tipped lol. I'd be wary of ordering pizza from them again, though, who knows what'll have been done to it by the fail bully. Bro, this sounds like the scene from Waiting. He stole your lunch money. Again. Give him the ole keep your head up champ or success isn't everything sport with a gentle punch on the shoulder. Saw the neighborhood bully at Mickey DS with my husband. Had the nerve to bring up the past bullying and name dropped another bully. Stated they have both calmed down with age, yeah. I replied quite innocently that people stopped using rocks and fists about the same time we all aged out, hard to duck what you cannot see. Not sure if that's petty revenge, but it's definitely some karma. That's the kind of revenge I like and respect. Pro tip, never order from that pizza place again unless you want spit in your food. My childhood bully recently died from a drug overdose. I feel sad for him looking back. As much anxiety and grief that he caused me, I realize now that his behavior was just a byproduct of his home life. Did the whole neighborhood clap? Ha 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 you got him good. I'll take things that never happened for $200. My grade school bullies checked out and bagged my groceries at the local grocery store for three years until I moved away. At that point, enough time had passed that I didn't really feel any animosity towards them. They came from bad family situations and didn't have an opportunity to go to college because they were poor, and needed to work to help pay their bills at home. A lot of bullies act out due to some other issue in their life. They might have made your life hell for four years, but their life might be a hell they can't escape from by graduating. That said, malicious generosity is a pretty sweet dig. It also has the added benefit of maybe actually having been helpful. I wish more revenge was of this nature. I was a correctional officer, and ran into my bully getting off the bus coming to the lower security prison. I told my captain I knew him, back on the bus he went back to his higher security prison. His stuff caught up with him about a month later, because oops, I sent it to the wrong prison. Sent it SOCF instead of LCI. I got bullied a bit in high school. My bullies are either in prison, dead, or digging ditches for a living. 
I own an award-winning pet service business and live 600 miles away from where I grew up. I thought this was going there so I stiffed him for the tip route but you are so much more elegant. An excellent way to handle this. It's a pretty great feeling. My high school bully stayed true to his roots and completely remained a turd. The guy was a real piece of shit. But, now he works at the recycling center. Unloading nasty shit all day long. Like. Really nasty leaking bags and the like, he looks like he was drugged behind a bus through a briar pasture full of diarrhea-stricken cattle fed nothing but Taco Bell all their lives. I was hello karma. It was awesome. Ah, short, sweet, to the point and petty as you get. It's perfect. You know, there is no better revenge than success. Congratulations on your new home, by the way. Great petty revenge flex right there. Living well is the best revenge, dot. Oh man, I know from experience people can change so I kind of sympathize with him, but also the hell that caused you to want this revenge is also important. I guess you went about it the right way. I hope you can let go of the pain that's been caused. That was indeed a petty flex, but also the most insulting way to wish someone good luck, I am impressed. I had the pleasure of locking mine up in jail a few years after high school. On the outside I was professional. On the inside I was enjoying every moment of it. Fucking love this similar situation happened to me about 15 years ago. My bully was my sandwich artist at Subway. However I didn't give him jack for a tip, just a big smile and nice to see YA. Give emote free emotes pack thumbs up sweet. I forget the passage but some of the Bible quotes are true wisdom, repay your enemies with kindness and it will be as if you heaped burning coals on their heads. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Pizza is a dish best served piping hot. Life is weird sometimes. So to summarize, you're still giving your high school bully your lunch money. Obviously, the first line is not fully true for you, because you took satisfaction in lording over this douch bag. That's fine, it was an appropriate and funny dunk on an old bully. But as a service worker, the disclaimer rings false because, if it were true, why would this be a dunk on your bully? It wouldn't, because if you considered his job normal or acceptable, it would not be such a source of pride and humor for you. I appreciate the kindness, but I don't think that disclaimer is necessary here. He's never gonna forget this face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Damn, you straight up blessed his heart. A hundo? F that I would have sifted through my cash with the hundo bill in plain sight and tipped him two bucks lol that's my petty revenge face with tears of joy. As a delivery driver, this thread is horrible to read. You claim you don't look down on people because of their job, then you proceed to do exactly that, as does everyone in this thread. You're all a bunch of bullies who don't even know you're doing it, pathetic. So in essence you're a snob who looks down his nose at people. Seems like you're no better than the bully. I had this happen for me, but he was the lawnmower repairman. He's doomed to low wages, big dumb jock. Dude, the same thing happened to me. It felt so good telling them to hold on why dug around in my pocket to find some lint-covered change to give him as a tip. I said that he did a very good job getting the pizza here in time that it didn't get cold. That he was a good employee. I don't know. I think whipping out the C note was good but why give the prick anything? You could have blithely asked if he could make change. So he bullied you and you paid him 100 bucks for the pleasure of it lol. Of all the things that never happened, this never happened the most. I probably would have shifted through the 100 in plain view to get to the 5 or whatever you normally tip. I liked your line though. POS didn't deserve anything more than the other drivers. I am glad you got some semblance of closure or whatever. Is it shameful to deliver pizza? I don't think so. The best revenge is living well. OMG that is fucking beautiful OP, you didn't insult him or hurt him instead you showed kindness and that probably hurt him more than any insult you could have gave him. 